Yo, Yo dudes. dudes! Welcome to Cauliflower Three Ways. This is the wonderful Dr. Rupi. He's just released a wonderful cookbook. He's a doctor, a medical doctor, and a wonderful chef. Today, Cauliflower Three Ways. Okay. We're gonna be doing cauliflower steaks. I do cauliflower wings, baked, delicious, yummy. And I'm doing cauliflower badgies. Uh, yep. So we're gonna do them all. We're gonna pick which one's the best, and uh, this is gonna be very useful. So first I'm going to do my cauliflower steaks. Super easy use of this beautiful brassical vegetable. We're just going to take three big chunk slices out of it. Well, actually I'm going to do two because this is a bit of a medium sized cauliflower yeah, here. Yeah, it's a little About you know, a couple of inches or so, just so it holds together like, oh no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need a cauliflower with a good stalk in the middle. So let's, let's do a thicker one here. Yeah, that, and that yeah, comes out like that's that. lovely. That's and then we'll just use this one on its side as well, okay? But don't, obviously, don't throw this stuff away. We can even use this for your wings. For Dave's wings. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. wings, cool. yeah, there you yeah, go, perfect, go perfect. Beauty. All right, so we've got a thick steak here, and we've got a thinner one here. Ideally, one a little bit thinner, but don't worry about it, just bake it for a little so bit longer. So cauliflower and steak are not two words that typically go together, Rupi. I know, yeah, I mean, like, when I first heard about the idea of a cauliflower steak, I was like, oh, what are you talking about? That doesn't sound good ridiculous. at all. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it's just the way it holds together. It actually is a, a, a nice way of using cauliflower. Yeah. It's such a versatile ingredient. And with these flavors, honestly, you're gonna be blown away. And we're gonna dust a bit of milled flaxseed over them, but you can also use something like uh, almond flour. Uh, okay. Or even ground chia seeds or whatnot. Ground chia seeds if you want, yeah. I mean, this is just gonna give it a bit of a crust here. Um, and it's a nice way of like adding, again, more fiber, more sort of like different variety of ingredients. Omega threes as well. Omega threes, yeah, there's short chain fatty acids that we find there. Um, this is a little bit of fennel, like ground fennel that I've got, just to add Ooh, a little bit ruby. of aniseed. But I know, it's a bit, That's it's nice. a bit, yeah. It's That's a bit, a bit edgy. Exactly. Yeah. Fennel people like her, don't <laughs> I know, good. yeah. I like that. You I don't like fennel, fennel you don't have to use fennel, but I personally I personally love it and I think it's fantastic. Great, you can good. use the whole seeds as well. Zatar is one of my Oof. favorite, favorite spice mixes. You've got oregano, marjoram, sesame seeds in there, oh, try a bit, a bit of sumac. Originally from Egypt. Uh, amazing, yeah. yeah. Such oh, a, nice sort of and salty. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Mm. That saltiness, that herbiness there. Oh, it's going to give yum. lovely color to this as well. So mm. you can see how easy yeah, this no, recipe so is. It, yeah. I'm just going to go all over it. This yeah, looks yeah. like a very complicated recipe, Rupi. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I know. It's just easy, isn't it? Like, especially when most people see a cauliflower in the store, you don't really know what to do with it. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So cauliflower cheese, most people think. Exactly, great. yeah, yeah. So it's just super simple. Give a good dose of seasoning on top. And we're just gonna add some extra virgin olive oil as well. And it's just gonna crisp up nicely in the thank, thank you, you very Beautiful. much. Use it, you can use olive oil. This is a mixture of sunflower rapeseed. Rape 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 yeah, that's fine. So give it a, a good whack of oil. It's yeah, the oil will help it reach a higher heat and get more crispiness Definitely. and more caramelization in the exactly, top. Exactly, yeah. Oh, see, now that's where yeah, it's now there we're told, we I love that, so the big paste. That. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. Good. Just, this is from your new book. This is from the Cue new the book. Love for the book. <laughs> <laughs> this Eat one did it. Hit, uh, you were saying it hit Sunday the bestseller best list. list. Yes, yeah. yeah, it hit the Sunday Times bestseller list for the and first time. What is so. okay? So what Ruby did in this book is he broke it down into foods that beat, for help beat cancer, foods that help beat heart disease, and all sorts of different things. So yeah. What chapter is the one you're most proud of? So I think I'm most proud of the final chapter. Actually, it brings everything together because when we think about foods, we tend to have the thing about what we eat prescriptively, like oh, I'm going to have cauliflower for. Um, inflammation or I'm going to have cauliflower for my brain or whatever but actually when you take a step back and you look at food holistically it's about your entire diet it's about getting more additions of quality fats fiber proteins from plants and having a plant focused diet as well that's going Brilliant. to protect you from a whole bunch of different conditions Brilliant. so that's so a holistic approach well. that's the take holistic on. approach very good bang this in the oven for Great. 20 okay. 30 minutes 200 degrees are one of the higher temperatures uh, i would say a higher temperature because we've got a thicker uh, cool. cauliflower steak okay, okay. cauliflower steaks we're going to pop that's them in the dumb. oven for 20 minutes beautiful okay so next up we're going to do cauliflower wings these are going to be the best okay so into a bowl i'm going to start with tomato puree or tomato concentrate i'm going to go with about three tablespoons or about 50 grams Love beautiful a tomato puree. i'm going to use garlic powder instead of uh, chopping up garlic just because it's easier and then i can mix this all together with a fork so if you don't have it you just use one clove of garlic chopped. i'm going yeah. with about half a teaspoon of dried garlic powder nice. so equivalent would be one clove of fresh garlic if you don't have garlic powder Oh, I'd go with a few more. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah. I personally like a garlic as well. Yeah, so do yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with two tablespoons of some kind of vinegar of choice. In this context, I'm using apple cider vinegar, but you could obviously use the juice of a lemon. You could use any kind of acid because it's just going to give that sharpness to the 
It's a barbecue yeah, sauce we're making now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiniest. I'm going with four tablespoons of my favorite black liquid of choice. No, which it's is tamari. <laughs> if you know tamari, <laughs> you could use soy sauce, shoyu. <laughs> All right, we're going in with two tablespoons of maple syrup. It's just going to give a nice sweetness to our barbecue sauce. Mm. So it's quite a simple barbecue yeah. sauce, but really, really tasty. What's really going to give it that smoky kind of taste that's quite distinctive of barbecue sauce is smoked paprika. I'm going to go with half a teaspoon. And now what's really simple is we're just going to mix it all together with a little bit of water and a little bit of oil. And that's our barbecue sauce. Bro. Perfect. So I've got, I'd say, two tablespoons of water. And I'm going to go with about three to four tablespoons of oil. Right. That's just going to add more fat and encourage more crispiness in the outside. And literally, it's just whisking it all together, and that's our barbecue sauce, which we're going to put her over our, our chopped uh, cauliflower and bake it in the oven. So really, it's a simple, make the barbecue sauce, pour barbecue sauce on top of cauliflower oh, wings, get hands in, and mixy-mixy. Nice. Gorgeous. Tip so one top tip which is great for these is, so see the way sometimes because the sauce is quite viscous, it ends up in the bottom of the tray. So if I take a little bit of chickpea flour, or just, any kind of flour really, chickpea I just find is great, it forms a nice batter. It'll absorb the moisture from the bottom and it'll almost breadcrumb like these uh, cauliflower wings. So it's a really good top tip. Okay, so there we go. Oh, beautiful. We've chopped our cauliflowers into little florets, we made our barbecue sauce, dressed them, and now we're gonna bake them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Yep, perfect. Uh, now for the last and obviously the best recipe. Uh, this <laughs> is cauliflower bhaji. Bhaji, most people associate it with onion bhaji, but the term bhaji just refers to, it's an Indian term for fritter, which means fried vegetable. So in essence, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cauliflower and just chop it into small little um, bits. Little bits, really. Yeah. So, cause we wanna fry this and we wanna make sure there's enough time to cook all the way through. So I'm only gonna use about half a cauliflower. Uh, we did our first twin challenge there recently. Oh, yeah? Where we went head to head. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who yeah, won? It's really good crack. Uh, <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've chopped our cauliflower, our half cauliflower, into nice small pieces. In this bowl here, I have 150 grams of gram flour. In goes our cauliflower. Gram flour is the same as chickpea flour, isn't yeah. it? Could I yeah. use any flour or does it have to uh, be? Typically a badgie will be based around gram flour due to the fact that there's a higher protein co content uh, and it'll just, it, it fries kind of differently. Mm. I've one red onion that I've chopped in just to give it that, that note of badginess. Mm. Uh, badginess. Yeah, I chopped <laughs> it into, into kind of little quarters. Obviously go for longer strips if you'd like. So I've one red chilli. I left the seeds in, leave them out if you don't. I've got one teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of corian cori ground coriander, teaspoon of ground cumin, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. Nice. The baking powder is just gonna create a lightness and just help them rise a little bit. And see the color of the turmeric, obviously, is gonna give it that distinctive kind of curry look. I love this plate that you use, by the way. It's so Beautiful, colorful. Isn't it? it's good, yeah. isn't it? It's been so long, like, putting everything in the right proportion. <laughs> 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 but he wants to win. He wants to have the prettier look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's gonna We're happen, not competitive lads. at all. Uh, next step, to bring all this together, I'm gonna put 150 ml of water. In it goes into the middle. And just slowly fold it in. Nice. We want this to come together like a batter. I've got a non-stick frying pan on high heat. Typically a badgie is deep fried. We wanna make this a little bit healthier. You could bake them if you want to, but in this case, uh, I wanna beat these lads and I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. <laughs> and the oven's already full as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so see the way these are distinctly yellow because the turmeric. The turmeric I saw in your book, you've got turmeric quite a bit yeah, in it because yeah. it's super anti-inflammatory. Yeah, and I think turmeric is like one of the fantastic spices that we have, um, alongside so many others: cumin, fennel, oregano, basil. They're all just as impressive. And what are the in terms of your book and in terms of all the heart disease, cancer, all those types of diabetes? Yeah, yeah. What if you had to pick five foods that you thought were the most? I would say probably categories of food. So yeah. greens, of which you have rocket. Brassica vegetables, your broccoli, your uh, bok choy. Uh, I would say uh, getting your red colors in, so things from tomato, Swiss chard, uh, beetroot, uh, getting other sorts of um, phytonutrients from whole grains, so oats, brown rice, quinoa, uh, yeah, all those sorts yeah, of pseudo grains brilliant. as well. 
um, yeah, those are my, my sort of foods. It's just Tennis about, food, be, you know what, food. it's about variety because every food is absolutely insanely good for you. So it's just about trying to get additions at, all, at every opportunity. Very good. Beautiful. Okay, pan's nice and hot. I'm going to add in a generous portion of oil, about two tablespoons to start That's with. That's a big two tablespoons. Well, you know, <laughs> really this is a fancy, normally it's deep fried, so I'm already being a little. Obviously, bake it if you're not into oil. However, if you are making a badgie somewhat more traditional, I'm going to bring these together into little small discs. Nice. It smells delicious. That's the oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to these. Yeah. I'm looking forward to my wings, actually. Yeah. I'm not going to touch this. <laughs> yeah. Well, these look good, like, if you're really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you boys, I'm having steak, so. Nice. Oh, look at the colour on that. Oh, nice. Look at these. Oh. That's good for you. Thanks, yeah. I'm turning the heat down just to medium heat because I want to make sure that there's enough heat to cook the cauliflower. So try not to cook it at a high heat, cook it at a medium to even slightly low heat. So we really want to make sure the cauliflower cooks through and that it's soft. Okay, so mine and rupees have been in the oven for, I'd say, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. They smell fantastic. It's time to take them out. I think it's, it's going to be tough to beat these badgies here. I don't know, we're going to see. Who's going to be the winner? Who? <laughs> All right. You want to grab yours? Oh, no, you first. All right, cool. Listen. Second place out first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these are crisped up nicely here. It's not really. I love yours. I love all this. This would be yeah, great. Yeah, I know. You definitely use all this, like scrape it off and stuff. But um, you can tell they're done. If you just push them, they, they come away like oh, that. They're, soft, they're nice yeah. and soft. They're lovely. And Juicy. Nice dry on the outside. Yeah. Now, here we go. The winner. Cauliflower steak. Bring out the, uh, the last oh, place. Oh, here we go. Oh, they do look good. They do so, look good. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the three ways to do cauliflower. Really tasty. Okay, now the verdict. Okay, Rupee, you want to come in and try Dave? Yeah, I'll try some of this. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. kind of. Sensational. You know, there is a lot of flavour. They're very nice. They're quite juicy. They're good. I like the uh, flavour that. Mm. Mm. They're lovely. Yeah, that tartness as well. That's I'd gorgeous. give them a little longer just so they'd roast up the rest, but they're lovely. Mm. Yum. Very uh, good. Out of 10? Out of 10 out of 10? I'd give it a 7.5. There you are. I'd give it a 10. So <laughs> <laughs> 7.5. Yeah. Okay, rupees, we've got to use a fork. 25.5 oh, yeah, for, for Dave. All right. Okay, here we are. Rupees looks great. This you is kind of like Middle me. Eastern. You call it Middle steak. Eastern cauliflower. Yeah. With flax from Rupi's new book. Really, really tasty. The zatar. Very beautiful. I love the mm. zatar. Very I'll give that a 9 out of 10. That's excellent. Mm. I really, congratulations. I think that's better than mine. <laughs> I really do. In terms of uh, effort, it's pretty minimal effort. Max right. Flavor. Both excellent. I give them both an 8. I think they're excellent. So you got an 8, and a 9, 17. What are you giving yours? A 6? <laughs> <laughs> okay, into the badgies, I'll match lad. It, I'll match but it. this isn't all about winning. Grab a badgie, boys. All right. Rupi. Okay, here we go. So these, are, this these. are the badgies you'll see. I did cook oh. them at a low temperature, so wow, they cooked all the way through. Smells, smells, like smells delicious. Smells like a badgie. Wow, it's very good. Oh, wow. Mm. Smells good. Mm. Excellent. And they'll be like with a mango chutney, or you might do a mm. raita, or something yeah. like that. Because they, they're wonderful dippers. Mayo, like yeah. a garlic yeah. mayo, mm. super good. Something like a tomato y sauce sort of oh. thing, that'd be nice. What do you mean? Uh, Dudes, there you have it, cauliflower. Oh, what do you give this? I think it was excellent as well. I give it a nine. I'd give it 8.5. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. There you go. Okay, cauliflower three ways. Great way to do it. Rupi is fabulous. Super cool dude, doctor. His book is just out. <laughs> on Instagram, Rupi's called The Doctor's Kitchen, so do check him out on that. Um, and let us know which one you think is the best. Leave yeah. a comment down below. Pick your winner. And if you make them, tag us on social media. Rupi's The Doctor's Kitchen, the happy pair. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.